I, 46 female, and my daughter, 18 female, have had a roller coaster relationship over the years. We haven't gotten along for the past six years, and some of this being that she would steal from me, come home with grades I would drop and then go back up, and we just didn't have good chemistry despite her living under my roof and me raising her on my own for the past 18 years. Her father was never around after she was six. I always kept my daughter sheltered because I knew how cruel the world was and I didn't want her to be exposed to it. As a result, I never let her go to any of the homecoming dances or prom, except for one school dance, which was the military ball, I believe. She would rebel, sneak out, and I had no idea where she was or what she was doing. When I would ask her why she was doing these things, she would say it was because I was hard on her, never let her do anything, and that I constantly called her names or made her sit outside on the porch for hours at a time when she was in high school whenever she'd upset me or be disrespectful. There would be times it was raining and I would make her sit on the porch until she was well-behaved. I feel bad for this now and I realize it was all my fault. Just recently, we got into a huge argument and I told her to leave, so she packed her things and left. I've been told by my family members that she's telling people that she's having a hard time supporting herself and that she feels that she has severe abandonment issues. It is to my understanding that she moved four states away to live with her father's side of the family, whom she hasn't seen since she was small, and that she feels homesick. She's uncomfortable there, but she doesn't have any other options because she's telling people that she has nowhere else to go. I'm embarrassed that my daughter is saying these things about me to the family. I haven't spoken to her since she left, and she's claimed to have never had a childhood. My sister feels I caused this by kicking her out. However, I didn't tell her to go all the way across the state to live with essentially strangers whom she barely knows. So, am I in the wrong for making my daughter leave my home? The wedding would be a waste on me because there was no way I could plan a wedding as beautiful as hers. Am I the asshole for purposely booking the same wedding venue as my sister but earlier so I can get married there first? My sister and I don't get along, obviously from the title. I can be honest and admit that she's much prettier than me and that's something she's never let me forget. Both of my parents are pretty shallow and they've always given her the best and put her first. An example, if we both had a school event at the same time, they both go to hers. This has left me pretty bitter and distant from my family. My boyfriend of five years recently proposed and I was super over the moon and straight out of a bad rom-com script, my sister got engaged right afterwards. It didn't really faze me other than serve as a slight nuisance since my parents were more happy and involved with her engagement. My mom has been helping her plan but couldn't help me because my sister needed more help and she couldn't devote the time that I deserved. Don't feel bad for me though because my mother-in-law is a godsend and super sweet and genuinely treats me with so much love. You know, that's how God works sometimes when your own family isn't the best, he blesses you with another one. Anyways, what really pushed me over the edge was when my sister told me that she booked her wedding at my dream venue. I know it sounds so annoying and cheesy, but I really cared about this location. It was sentimental to me. My grandparents got married there, and I've talked about wanting to get married there as far back as high school when I was just daydreaming. Word to God, my sister doesn't give an F about my grandparents. When I brought it up, my parents told me to stop being petty. In a fit of actual pettiness, I ended up booking the same venue a month before my sister's wedding. I checked with the venue, and there's no way my sister can move the wedding up. They're booked up. And if she changes the venue she'll lose her deposit my mother recently reached out to me and implored me to talk to my sister i blocked her after the first call where she tried to read me out apparently my sister's really distraught and my mom said the least i could do was try and work something out with my sister especially over such a huge event i said no but my mom said i was an asshole for not even trying to hear her out for being so stubborn and petty i know my mom is biased but it got me thinking because i've been pretty staunch about ignoring her calls and some of my cousins have told me that she seems genuinely upset i'm not sure whether or not i was right or if i'm being a giant asshole by being stubborn. I just want to add that I'm wondering if I'm being an asshole for ignoring my sister, not really for booking the venue. My sister flat out told my cousin that she couldn't care less about the venue and booked it because it was convenient. But suddenly when I want to get married there too, it means the world to her. I think not. My grandparents practically raised me since my parents were always missing out on my life events, so it was my grandma and grandpa who came to support me. I was always going to get married there one way or another. Okay, so there's an update. Let's see if she talked to her sister. I appreciate everyone who took the time to comment. Both the positive and negative comments opened my eyes. I talked it over with my fiance and he basically said, you are literally never happy when you talk about your family. Why do you keep putting yourself through that? So I decided to try talking to them one last time before going no contact just so I wouldn't have any regrets. Most of you could probably guess what happened. My sister said that if I got married at the same venue as her, I'd steal her thunder and that I was selfish for making my own wedding all about me. I countered with the fact that I've been talking about getting married there for over a decade, so why would she think I wouldn't get married there too? Only for my sister to reply that the wedding would be a waste on me because there was no way I could plan a wedding as beautiful as hers. Yo, I'm sorry, your sister's a complete bitch like what the f the final straw was when my parents offered to pay for my entire wedding if i moved it <gasps> yo your pa dude i why oh my god your parents are assholes too that's so fucked up like my parents who couldn't be bothered to show up to my engagement party because my sister planned hers for the next day and they need time to help her prep suddenly wanted to pay tens of thousands of dollars just to make my sister happy i think that kind of broke me long story short i told them that effective immediately i was done being their punching bag and that they were no longer welcome at my wedding or in my life 
He tried to play the symphony card on social media, crying about how it divided the family, but my grandparents really came to bat for me. They basically made their own post shading my mom, their daughter, saying that they were so thrilled to see their granddaughter, who they raised, get married at their venue, and that my grandpa would be walking me down the aisle. Wow, good for you for having such good grandparents. I'm glad they are able to see through the bullshit that their daughter is putting you through. That pretty much shut up most of my extended family. My cousin also let me know that my sister gave up her deposit in favor of changing the venue, which made me feel like it was proof that it was never about the venue and just about taking something that mattered to me. I wouldn't have cared if we married at the same place though. I feel like I made the right decision because I've just felt so much lighter since. My fiance is also happy that I'm happy. Yay! I'm so happy! I'm just sad that you had to go through that kind of stuff. Like, what the F? Ah! Am I the asshole for picking the same name for my baby as my brother-in-law's unborn baby? My 31 female husband, 33 male, and his brother, 36 male, aren't super close, but we all get along well. My brother-in-law is pretty nice overall, but he does seem to be a bit jealous of my husband and just everything we have. But my husband told me it's always been like this, so it's not really a big deal. I'm currently pregnant with a baby girl, our first baby, and we've been discussing possible names. There's one that we're pretty sure of. It's not super out there, but I think pretty unique nowadays, and I really like it. The issue is... This is the name that brother-in-law and his girlfriend had picked out for their baby three years ago, if it was a girl because they didn't know yet, and the baby unfortunately died. His mm. girlfriend chose the name from her favorite ballet, and I remember she would say that if she ever had a daughter, she'd name her that. We were at a family event over the weekend, and I mentioned that we had a name in mind. Brother-in-law looked kind of surprised and said that was the name they'd picked for their daughter. My husband said that we know, but we just thought it was a really nice name. Brother-in-law started asking if we could reconsider and that there are other names, and this one's really special to him. I said that we decided on the name, and he actually didn't even know if his baby was going to be a girl or a boy. He was upset and kept saying that we should reconsider. I got a little mad and told him that he doesn't own the name and they should be hoping for a healthy baby rather than worrying about names. Brother-in-law dropped it after that, but my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, told me and my husband that we don't care and we're intentionally hurting him. There's got to be some sensitivity around that. To lose a unborn child is very traumatic and yes they didn't know if it was a boy or girl or whatever gender but they had this name picked out talked about it honored this name that baby was that name to them so I don't i'd know. have a nuclear fucking meltdown this is again it's a really dark sad yeah. situation that happened i don't i don't know how far along she was like mm -hmm. probably too early because op implies they didn't even know what sex the baby was yeah but like if that baby would have been born and then died six months later versus like preterm, mm -hmm. would they still use that name? Because what's the difference? Yeah. I think it's about to get really worse. Really? I just like I was peeking at the top comment and I think it's about to get worse. Fuck. It's got 54,000 upvotes at this time. And they go, you're the asshole. No, they don't own the name. That doesn't mean they're wrong that you should reconsider when you've clearly known for years mm -hmm. that it's special to them. Yeah. Especially when the mere fact you're having this argument shoots a gaping hole in your, quote, pretty unique reason for picking it. And you don't seem to have anything especially meaningful to counter with that editing since people are bugging me to include it. Yes, the fact you didn't feel the need to clarify it wasn't your current sister-in-law, but your brother's late significant other who died while pregnant makes this infinitely worse. W wait a minute. I think she died before. Like, I think that's why this all happened. What? So OP responded to their comment and goes, okay, maybe I should have been clear in my post. Sometimes when me and brother-in-law's girlfriend would chat, we'd just randomly go on the topic of wedding planning, baby names, etc. She mentioned that there's this name she likes, and if she ever had a daughter, she'd probably name her that. She had one for a son too. In fact, we didn't even know she was pregnant until after she died. Wow. Wow. There's a warm place in hell for people like this. Just have some fucking empathy for someone else. Right. Who suffered a great, great loss. Yeah, I agree. I don't like it. Am I the asshole for not caring that my coworker is allergic to dogs? I work in a warehouse with about 26 other people and I've been there for five years. I have a Japanese Akita and these dogs tend to shed a lot. One of my new coworkers is allergic to dogs and this has definitely caused an issue. When they use the break room, they start sneezing a lot, and I have pictures of my dog at my workstation, so they all know that I have him. So they went to the boss and said they needed to be accommodated because of the medical condition. 
He came to me and asked if I could please do anything. So I started keeping a clean set of coveralls in my locker and I put them on as soon as I get to work. This wasn't good enough. Am I the asshole for not caring that my coworker is allergic to dogs? Apparently this wasn't good enough so I started just staying out of the break room. Nope. If they came into my zone they started sneezing. They told my boss that I should be forced to get rid of my dog because it's affecting their work. The thing is, I know I'm not the only one with a dog. At least three of the other guys I work with have dogs. I told my boss that I will never consider rehoming my dog and they can just take some Benadryl or something. Now they're crying that they might have to quit because they can't work here. I just don't care, but they certainly do. And now they're saying I'm the asshole for prioritizing my dog over their livelihood. Am I the asshole for asking my boyfriend to switch meals with me? I've been friends with my boyfriend for years and we got together three months ago. When we go out to eat, he always orders a cheeseburger plain ketchup on the side with honey mustard to dip his fries. He loves exotic food, but he says the whole ordering and making choices is super stressful. I love trying exotic things and to me that's the whole reason to go out. But sometimes I don't end up liking the food so I ask him to switch and he says yes. So last night we went to a sports bar and they had a calamari special which I got and he got a cheeseburger. I didn't like the calamari so I asked him to switch with me and he said no. I asked why not and he said I shouldn't have effing ordered it. Am I the asshole for asking my boyfriend to switch meals with me? I said excuse me and he went into a tirade and said I treat him like a garbage disposal. He's a grown man, I'm being immature and don't pin my crap on him. It sounded like it was a rehearsed speech. He said maybe it was since I insist on stealing his food every time we go somewhere. I started crying and he said don't start that BS with me. Here, have both meals and he got up and walked out. He has not called or texted me and it's 6 a.m. I thought he would have called to apologize by now. I called my sister and she said you're the asshole for waking me up at 5.30 and he probably sees it as you insisting.